Hey guys, this is Justin at The Survivor Review, and today we're going to be talking about Episode 3 of Ash vs. Evil Dead, titled Books from Beyond. This episode continues just the crazy, over-the-top style and tone and just all-around fun of the first two episodes, though I don't think it was as good as those two. Though it's still a blast and a ton of fun to watch, it just wasn't as amazing as the first two episodes, but that's not saying it's bad. This episode begins with our first real introduction of Lucy Lawless. And right off the bat, she's badass and just awesome. The episode starts with her going to Kelly's parents' house. And then she encounters her dad as a deadite. And ends up being able to hurt him with this knife. Which is really weird. I want to see how that plays off. And I can't wait to see it when she finally meets up with Ash. I think it's just going to be so awesome. I can't wait for that to happen. The rest of the episode is about Ash, Pablo, and Kelly going to this bookstore so they can get the Necronomicon translated and hopefully find a way to undo all the stuff that Ash did and hopefully get everything back to normal. And of course, in typical Evil Dead fashion, that doesn't go as planned. And in the process, Ash encounters the detective, Amanda Fisher, and they go at it. It's just craziness and just a ton of fun. What this episode really shows is the strength of the 30-minute format. Yeah, I could watch this for an hour. I could watch it for more than an hour. But this really shows that I think the 30-minute format works for this show because the plot of this episode is very simple. They go to a bookstore, bad stuff happens, and they leave. And that just fits Evil Dead. Evil Dead is always about pace and just simple story, but a lot going on in between. And that just fits it. I feel like if this was stretched out to an hour, it'd be too much. Or, like, they would have to just find something else to do. They couldn't stay at the bookstore the entire episode for an hour. It just wouldn't work. So I think the 30-minute format works for the show, and it works very well in this episode. What else works is the character development. For a 30-minute show that has a lot of action sequences, there's a lot of character development, actually, and I really like that. It shows that the writers understand that you need good characters to keep this show moving forward. It can't just be crazy situation after crazy situation. You have to actually care about these characters, and you do. I like how Kelly is actually on Ash's side. Like, when Amanda Fisher is like, you know this guy is bad, he's not good, and all that stuff. And Kelly just goes, hey, this guy saved my life, and he could have just left me, but he didn't. And I like that. That's something I wasn't expecting her character to say. And I, I like her, I like that development. I like even Ash's development at the end, when he realizes that he needs a team to survive this whole thing. He needs to have a group. And I like that. It was a great moment of realization for the character. And just makes you like him even more because he's not just a complete buffoon the entire time. That being said, though, when he is, it's great. And again, like the last episode, Ash's lines and the dialogue are just the best parts of this. There's so many great moments in this episode. I love the back and forth with Ash and the bookkeeper. Just how the guy's just like, oh my god, I can't believe I had this book. It's just, whoa, it's just crazy. And Ash is just like, uh-huh, yeah, it's great. Can, can we get to the undoing the stuff, please? And there's so many great lines with Ash. The line in the beginning where he's talking about the one girl he was with who was into cosplay. That was great. And the best line in the entire episode, uh, Ash's paint analogy. It's just the dumbest thing ever, but it's perfect. It's great. I'm just loving Pablo more and more as the show progresses. His character is just so entertaining, and his reactions to everything is the best. And when he hits Amanda Fisher over the head with the bone at the beginning, that just was hilarious. I, I love that moment. Yeah. So I'm just loving the characters in the show. They're all great. And the best thing about this episode is how it expands the mythology of Yule Dead. The scene where the bookkeeper is explaining the Necronomicon, how the book is basically just a gateway to hell and explaining how the people created it and why they did and it's very interesting stuff and stuff you've never heard before in the Evil Dead movies. I just like how it's expanding the mythology and making the series bigger and grander which I just love. And then the other best part of the episode is the Deadite that appears at the end. The climax of this episode is the best part of it. The design of this new Deadite is amazing and one of the coolest designs I've seen for a creature and I love the way he moves how the mouth is always still but the body is always jittery and moving and that ending was just a blast and I love that it's probably the most memorable creature in the show and one of the most memorable cute creatures of the Evil Dead franchise that character is just so cool looking and I love the Deadites interactions with Ash when he first appears that just ending is the best part of this episode one of the great things about this show is the fact that the trailer they released basically only showed footage from the first three episodes. 
There's a couple of things here and there from the other episodes, but that just makes it really exciting because I don't know what's coming next at all, and I really cannot wait to see what's coming next. This show is just so great, and I can't believe it's as good as it actually is. It's just a blast. I just That's the best thing you can say about it. So that's episode three of Ash vs. Evil Dead, a solid episode that, again, wasn't as strong as the first two, but that's not saying it's bad or anything. It's still amazing. I am looking forward to new episodes of the show every week, and that hasn't really happened to me for a show in a long time, and just, it's awesome, and I can't wait to see more. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.